December 8th is National Brownie Day. Of course, that always comes with a story. What kind of stories did Dad used to tell us when we were kids? Oh, the brownie story. Yeah. That was the one where our grandmother decided to ship him brownies via the mail in Quezon. And then, when they arrived, members of his battery said, Hey, Skipper, this package came for you. But we're going to throw it out because it's crawling with ants. And he said, Whoa, whoa, whoa what are you talking about? And then, he said, bring it to me, because they hardly ever got anything good to eat there. Translation, never. They cranked up the icebox and stuck it in there. And then an hour later, scraped off the dead ants and ate the brownies. They were, no doubt, still infested with ants. And he used to use these stories to tell us how good we had it. Yes. <laughs> when I was a kid. <laughs> we had to walk uphill both ways naked in a rainstorm go to the convent shovel the sister snow <laughs> then be told there was no school and then go back and tell your grandmother there was no school and she wouldn't believe us and we'd have to go back again <laughs> and to honor national brownie day i am here inside the famous gear delis and ordering a couple of their world famous brownies. Here they are, no frills, no spills. Ghirardelli famous brownies. Yeah, there were options to get them with sundaes and tower things and like up to here whipped cream, a, a whipped cream tower as tall as the Empire State Building. But we're going basic. To be honest with you, I'm not sure why I'm making a big deal about where these brownies came from. They're not paying me to talk about this. I've actually never had brownies from here. They could suck. 